I, in this video I'm going to unbox, well, I didn't, must say I didn't buy it new, but um, it hasn't been used and just want to show you uh, how it is and how it looks. It's an eBay Turbo Manifold. So um, this one is about, I think, 160 quid a pound plus 60 shipping, import costs, etc. So you end up about, I think, 250, 300 quid almost. So um, when I was looking for the guy who had it um, over in England, he didn't use it. Um, it's a T3 manifold um, and you know it allows you to um, you know use it on the 1ZZ and the 2ZZ. You would say why would it work on the 1ZZ and the 2ZZ and uh, um, basically because the flange is smaller which you have to accept. It's a cast iron manifold and um, they should be very 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 strong um, and in this video um, it's not a normal unboxing video but I'm going to show you how it looks. So in case if you're looking for cheap manifolds and living in the UK like I do, um, you know, you can consider or don't consider depending on what you're looking for and how much time and money you want to spend modifying it. So keep watching. Before I start uh, showing the manifold, I'm going to show you how it looks to have a 2CC flange, which is this. You can see how the, uh, you know, the exhaust holes are, you know, oval and not really round. Um, well, the 1CZ ones, they are, you know, a lot uh, rounder. So if I'm taking the manifold here, let's put this one down for a second, and take the manifold, I will just show you how it looks compared to the 2CZ. Um, so here they are, on top of each other. You can see that the 1CZ version over here um, has more round ports, while the 2CZ version over here has oval ports. However, the bolts, the holes for the bolts actually, they have been uh, um, drilled for both a 1cc and a 2cc, so you know it should work. Um, to get this working um, on the 2cc, you of course have to you know modify the holes so you know they are oval or you have you know losing power depending on you know what you want to do. Nobody wants to lose power, which, why would you? Um, so that's something you have to consider. Um, overall, it's a very, very, very heavy manifold. Um, Quality-wise, um, it you know it looks good, it looks strong. It's no, it doesn't have anything for waste gates, so it's only for internal waste gates. Uh, one, it's cast iron, um, which is very, very strong. However, it's also almost impos impossible to weld unless you know what you're doing. Um, I was thinking I could modify it, cut the flange off, you know, and um, then. You know, get it sorted, but um, the you know people I was talking to, they told me that you know welding cast iron is a bit hard, getting a, a flange cut off is a bit hard, and the only way to really get this done is by um, basically you know getting a different manifold or getting an adapter. That's the two options you have. So I'm just um, I just received it. So whenever I have time, I'm going to bring it to a guy to see what we can do uh, if this flange can be cut off, maybe cut in, you know, even even if you cut it in half, you know, it will save a little, little bit of space. This flange, I don't see if you have anything to measure here, I don't think so. The, so the uh, thickness of the, um, the top part here is 1.7 centimeters. So the flange, um, as well, which is here, that one, um, the, the, the thing itself is exactly two centimeters on each side. Yep. Um, so this, uh, this is a T3, so 228 uh, turbo, which I'm going to use, is a bit smaller. Um, as this is, you know, two centimeters and the flange is about six, what you know i was thinking maybe you can you know cut it in half and then put the flange on it but i don't know you know what's possible and what's not possible so i have to bring it to someone that actually knows you know what they're doing and how this works so um in this case you know the manifold itself is you know very strong it's, it's heavy it's for heavy duty um it's you know pressure wise it should be absolutely amazing um most manifolds are like this i can't tell you a lot about the design um you can see it here how it's actually built, um, so you know the, the runners and everything. Um, when I check the inside of the port, um, they look great. Um, what I would do is I'm going to put this one 
on top of um, you know the the things here just to show you you know how um, if it's compatible with the 2cc and uh, if you want to compatible with the 2cc what would you have to do to you know get it working so keep watching as you can see the bolts um, they match up and then um, there should be one over here over there so the, all the bolts basically match up um, when you put this in you know the flange that i have you can also see how much you have to you know cut off um, so that's basically what you would have to do uh, to get this working as well another thing you might notice is the difference between the thickness of the manifold compared to the flange i'm having here which of course can cause uh, issues like with the uh, bolts and everything so i ordered some studs um, instead see if it goes um, if not I have to use bolts so um, I have those I don't think they fit my car um, they are a lot bigger than what's in here um, but you can see um, if I compare it like that how much you know heavy duty this is so when you use this you might want to you know uh, uh, create something like a bracket to keep the weight up um, which is a good thing because you have some bolts to spare um, that were meant for the 1cz so you know that's a good thing to do um, those bowls they actually you know fit in the bag without any problem so i think this is um i think it's m8 or something um, it doesn't say on it this is 82 and 70. um but i thought it was um it wasn't it wasn't the m6 it was a little bit bigger so i think it's like m m8 or so um, but i'm going to test this on the car um with the studs that i'm having at the moment in the car and see how it uh, you know see if it even bolts up if not, you would have to use bolts um, instead of studs. But in case, you know, if you want to know um, if that works and uh, etc., I'm going to show you right now. So uh, before you start, before you start using this, make sure that you modify the, the holes. Um, you don't, have, you don't really have to. You just, like I said, you're just lo losing power because uh, the holes are bigger than expected. So make sure you, you do that as well. Um, then if we compare. So when you compare this and these, you can see that the runner is actually not too bad size-wise. So they made them bigger, you know, than they should be. Which, you know, in, in my eyes, it doesn't look too bad. So um, let's see what happens if we put it on the car. So the manifold is mounted. Um, I had to take those studs out because I had to use the original bolts. Uh, this is over here. I think those are the original ones. Then I had two of those. Um, they're not great, but it's working. Um, you can see how the uh, manifold is sitting. So most people say it's too low, which I might agree on. Um, but you might, you know, find a way to get away with this. Maybe um, you know do it any other way or so um, I'm just going to try and play around um, with this a little bit I was thinking of making a top mount but not sure if that's going to work because all the exhaust uh, gases are flowing down so um, but maybe if we you know modify that in some kind of way you know we might be able to get the turbo working otherwise I would say something like a 90-45 degree bend, um, a little bit up, then put the turbo there, um, you know, but those are um, things to consider when using this manifold, because it's, you know, it's not, a, you know, an expensive manifold, so it, you might have those kind of changes, but, and issues, but to be, uh, to see and to get this working, you need a turbo, uh, which I don't have at the moment, um, but, this is the manifold, um, I hope this is useful for you, um, if not, just let me know. And um, also, you know, if you want to know uh, how this works and how it um, how it fits and everything else in the, in the process, then just let me know, follow my channel. Um, I will be posting a lot more um, on the cheap stuff for the uh, MR2 and how to build it. So, keep watching, see you next time.